What is up everybody, welcome to this new video of TechPress. My name is Steven and I'm going to be showing you guys how to actually add a video banner with a few toes here into Shopify. It's going to be a really, really easy tutorial, but the very first thing you want to do in order to continue is to have a Shopify account. So here, I do have the administrator dashboard section into the home pod. So let's go and jump right into the actual uh, tutorial. So the very first thing is to go directly into my online store. Now I click here and then what I wanted to do is to be focusing into themes. Here into themes gonna be showing you what kind of things you're gonna be using to customize your actual store. In our case, you're gonna be using something called the actual Dawn. But if you don't like it, you can always scroll a little bit down and go into popular free themes. So you can choose the one that fits for you the best. And then later on, you can just uh, move down. And in my, in my case, I'm going to be using the one that says Dom because this is how it's going to be looking my store. So once you find the best that fits for you, you can always scroll all the way up. And then I wanted to edit over here. What I want to do is to go and scroll all my way up, focused into customize. And here's going to be popping out the new administrator section of the editor. So here, as you can see, we have the uh, catalog, the contact, the header, the image banner. We have a lot of tools here where we can just get started. As you can see, by default, we're seeing the image banner into the header part of our actual stuff. So if I want to add like a video here, I can always click into this image banner and then later on I can add my own stuff. But if you don't have a video here, let's say that I wanted to remove this section. And we have the feature products here. So I'm going to go into add section to header. I'm going to go here into add section. And here, let's go and focus into custom liquid. Actually, I think that I'm going to be using these new block sections. So here into my header, I'm going to add like a block. And then what I want to do actually is to go and focus into my template. Here, I wanted to focus now into my add section. So as you can see, we have a lot, of, a lot of stuff that we can use. I wanted to go with video, and there we go. So here into video, I wanted to use this template to bring this into the very first part of my website so I can use this as a background banner. I want to put this down here, but into the very first part of my store. So I click there, and there we go. So I click now into this video part, and this video, let's say that I delete this option. I just want to see the actual heading. So here into heading size, let's go for large. There we go. Play video on loop, which is actually something really, really important if you want it to be played out of plate. And here on embedded video from URL, you wanted to, in my case, what I wanted to do is to use a video that has been already, let's say, uploaded. So I'm gonna go and go for youtube.com, for example. And here, let's go for new sneakers Nike 2023. So what I want to do is to look out for a product. I'm going to go all my way up and here into the URL, I'm going to delete this option, paste my actual link. And here it is. Use a YouTube or Vimeo URL. There we go. And here into the cover image, you wanted to leave it like that. I make this section the full width and the color background. Let's go into accent number two. Actually, actually we're going to leave it into the accent number one. And there we go. So I'm going to hit now into save. And then later on, there is a problem here. But first, let's see what is the actual problem. Let's go here into view. And as you can see, there's nothing here. If I, I have the play button. So if I hit into the play button, my video is going to be available to be played here. But we are, let's say, we're depending into YouTube, which I think is like not so good at all. We needed to actually add a custom video if you wanted to don't have this kind of troubles. So what I wanted to do, if you still want to add a video from YouTube, what I want to do is to go into YouTube MP4, for example, here. And then I copy the link of my video that I wanted to add. In my case, it's like the video of the actual product that I wanted to sell. So I download this product. So I download my video. And once again, I'm going to go back here. And instead of choosing a URL, I'm going to actually delete this URL. There we go. There's actually nothing now. Now I'm going to be focusing now into select the video, upload the video, and I'm going to be uploading the video that we have just downloaded. In our case, I think is this one. So I'm going to go here into open, 
and we have the uploading remaining. So you have to make sure that you have an actual basic plan already been enabled, otherwise you're going to not going to be able to import a lot of videos, a lot of files here into your Shopify store. So uh, just wait a few seconds here. Now, this is something really, really important. Uh, I am using an actual trial plan inside Shopify so I can show you how to actually do this inside your editor section. But this is uh, what I was telling you guys. You need to have an active plan in order to uh, import videos inside your Shopify. So if this actually doesn't work, I believe like the only way to, we can add this is by a URL. Otherwise, this actually won't work. So if you want to check it out, how it's going to be looking, what I wanted to do is to actually try with an actual image. So I can try to figure it out if this one actually is not looks so bad. So the other solution that I can give you is to try adding an image banner. So what I did is to go here into my homepage once again, I focus into add a section and here has the image banner. So I click here into explore for images so I can show you how it's going to be looking with let's say something like this for example. So I choose my image here, I go here into second image and I wanted to go once again with adding a new one and there we go. So um, this is how it's going to be looking of course the image overlay opacity and what I did is to add an animation so this is how it's going to be looking my actual image all here I think that I'm going to change the actual uh, first image I'm going to go once again into sneakers like this and I'm going to select my very first image here into select and there we go both of them have the actual same animation but we do have this actual banner section we can start by let's say click here and let's go for 20% of and we have the button labels of course and let's go for shop now and the other one should be called this cover I go back and now this one has been now saved. I can later on change my actual banner image. So for example, let's go for accent number one, which I think is like black and it's not looking that bad. So mobile center called like Lacma, let's go for the left part. And then later on I hit now into save. And now once again, I'm gonna do exactly the same thing. And go into three dots, here into view, and boom. This is how it's going to be looking my actual website. So even though we're not using, we're not seeing an actual video, because of course this one does not actually works if I am using a trial version, but if you are not using a trial version, this one should be automatically be popped in up. So in my case, this is how it's going to be looking my actual section. So later on, I think that I just needed to type into my image better and move this into the very upper side. So once again, I'm going to save this has been saved I reload the page and there we go so as you can see it's not looking that bad I think it's like a great alternative just in case that you have the same situation with me you have a trial boson and you still wanted to have like a small animation and the very first part of your video of your website but if you once again have an extra plan this one should be automatically added and as you can see we have the full width and it's actually looking really really great so I think that we have now reached into the very end of the video guys we have now solved the issue so don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel guys if you wanted to see more amazing tools of the Shopify more tech and more uh, unique stuff that we can use here into Shopify. Thank you once again for watching the video guys though and with that being said I'll see you on the next video.